Crespo hitting 178 is up there right now. Three walks and a hit in this inning. There's a bouncing ball. Ken Harvey charging. And oh. a collision with Grimson. Unbelievable. And I think both of them are hurt. Oh, hurting. my. That will score another run. It's a 3-2 to two game. And what a crazy play that one was. Oh, boy. Ken was going to come home with the ball to try to get the runner at the plate. And he ran right into Jason Grimsley, and they are both still down. And I don't think Grimsley's moved. Both trainers, Nick Schwartz and Frank Kite, went out to take a look at the two players. Boy, oh boy. And Harvey was in the throwing motion as that collision occurred. He was looking to come home with the plate. Grimsley was in the area because he was trying to get over to cover first base. I don't think I've ever seen a collision like this. Now Harvey, or rather Grimsley, getting to his feet. Harvey is still down, and Grimsley, though, still shaken up, obviously not dropping to a knee. Boy, oh boy. Harvey made the play on the grounder. Of course, he might have. He had an easy out at first base for the second out, but elected to go home to get the runner at the plate. And now Ken sitting up. You won't want to see it again. Here it is. Watch how hard Harvey is Ooh. charging. Released the ball as Grimsley is. I don't think at that point it makes a lot of difference. No. Grimsley got hit square in the mouth with that ball, whether it was in oh. Harvey's hand or not. That has the effects of a right hook to the jaw. Oh. Harvey and Grimsley are both coming out of the ball game. It's now three to two, Royals, and Boston still with just one out, and occupants all over the place on the base pads. A bizarre turn of events here in the sixth inning. Harvey trying to collect himself to make the throw to the plate, and Grimsley was going over in case he was needed to either cover the bag or field the ball, and just a ferocious collision. 